Hello my people. Today guys, I will be showing you my 6 a.m. productive morning routine. On days that I go to work, I wake up 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. On the days that I don't go to work, I most likely wake up 7 a.m. So I also have to say that um, the morning goes by smoothly and faster because I've done a ton of prep the night before. So if you want your day to go by smoothly, you should prep the night before. I also have a video on this um, productive acts or productive tips. I'll link it up in the card so that you guys can go check it out. So my day starts and then I drink water it's very important for me to stay hydrated I started this when I was pregnant and I have just continued doing it all the same and then I proceed to meditate meaning read my Bible pray on this day I actually woke up before 6 a.m. obviously <laughs> and I had already read my Bible so this was just me praying so after that I proceed to do some type of self-care I'll later show you guys like every other thing I do self-care but the first thing I do most important thing is to brush my teeth my smelly mouth is very very important and then I move on to other things I know that I haven't been who I was I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless because I let you down so part of the prep that I had done the night before is to figure out what I'm going to eat for lunch the next day. So when I wake up, that's the first thing I try to fix. So on this day, it's just unripe plantain and some vegetables. I already had the vegetables brought up from the freezer the night before and kept in the fridge. So all I just have to do is microwave it this morning and put it in my lunchbox, basically. So this is just me washing the uh, plantain, the unripe plantain to boil it, okay? Let me know guys, how many of you guys eat on rye plantain? Do you like it? <laughs> I know it doesn't really have any taste, but it keeps me super full, so that's good. <laughs> and one is just perfect and enough. So next up I move on to laundry. I take out the laundry, the load that washed all through the night, the night before I put in some load and I take them out and I put a fresh load because we're not going to be home all day so it'd be nice to get washed and the next morning we'll just take it out and spread on the hangar outside. One more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there. So my morning routine cannot be completed without a workout. I'm sure you guys are like, oh, she has come again with this workout. Yes, it is now part and parcel of my life, guys, because I want to lose weight so bad. I want to live a healthy lifestyle so bad. Like, it's like I crave it so much. So I just have to work out and eat right, guys. And, you know, it's just become part and parcel of me. I cannot imagine a day going by without me working. Actually, I can imagine <laughs> There are days that my body needs rest and I take those rest days. But really, what I'm trying to say is I try to work out, you know. And I do several types of workouts. Like you guys can see, I use my the YouTube app on my TV to search for videos. On this day, actually, um, I'd been doing the Chloe thing. Is it Chloe thing? Yes. Two weeks shred. A friend of mine challenged me and she put us all in a WhatsApp group and, you know, We've just been doing it. The first couple of days were war. Trust me. Like, <laughs> I was like, Kili -li. <laughs> it was war. But I think on this day, I was already on like day 10 or day 11. So I was already getting a hang of it. Like, look at me getting those boppies in. Just look at me. I know it's not perfect, but I did try, Sha. <laughs> to be the one you can trust i feel so useless because i let you down i hope there's some way i can make it all right because i know that you deserve much more than this 
So after working out and drinking water and taking all the selfies to post online to pepper you guys, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Next thing I go do is look for the outfits that Tisha is going to wear for that day and also look for the outfit that I myself will wear to work on that day. And then I just lay it down and the next thing is I head into the bathroom for a quick shower. Quick facial wash and a quick shower. so selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all i need i take you places that you've never been i would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give so to cleanse my face, I use the La Roche Posay uh, creamy cleanser as you guys have seen and to just take my bath, I use whatever black soap I had at that point in time. I can't even remember which one, but yeah. And then today I'm using the Fig uh, Rose Water uh, Toner to just hydrate my skin and then after that uh, I apply my Iolurone. <laughs> The ordinary hyaluronic acid on my face. You're supposed to put this on your face when your face is still damp. Um, yeah, so it you know extra hydration and everything on your face. And I just use Tisha's shea butter to cream my body, guys. I'm not bougie when it comes to what I use on my skin. I most likely use coconut oil or uh, shea butter. So this is Tisha's shea butter that I'm using <laughs> on my skin to you know cream my body and all that. And next, I move on to continuing with my face so i alternate when i'm uh doing my skincare routine like i'll put something i'll apply something on my face and then i'll do something else just so it can dry and sit in and then i apply the next thing you know you understand that kind of thing so i don't do too much guys i do the barest minimum um i've used my eye my toner and my hyaluronic acid and i have i'm using my uh, moisturizer right now my botanical effects by mary Kay moisturizer and i apply my sunscreen and that is basically my morning routine i don't do anything in the mornings i don't do so much in the mornings because i mean why should i do so much <laughs> it just it works for me guys like it basically just works for me um i would probably make a detailed video on this whole skincare thing so you guys can understand and different mornings for different products guys different mornings for different products and the next thing is i just try to hydrate my hair my braids you guys know i have braids in so i try to hydrate my braids with the same rose water um and you know some conditioners and oils and all that just so that my hair looks pretty decent and my style my hair is protected that's the most important reason why we did braids to protect the hair so it does not make sense if it's not protected inside the braids so i just mist it hydrate it so that it can be well protected I do is that I lay our bed because I like to come home to a clean bed like I just want to bounce on my bed when it's time to sleep rather than start laying it you know so I get that done also and it's just part of being productive also and then I pack my bags actually I packed my bags the night before so when I say pack my bags I just put my laptop and my chargers in there you know what I used all through the night so it's basically like my laptop my laptop charger my phone charger my airpods uh, my phone and I just put all that inside my bag those are the things I used the night before so 
So next I head over to the kitchen to pack my lunch. By this time the uh, unripe plantains were already boiled and cooled down so I could just take them out of the peel and put it in my uh, plastic bowl that I take to work. And I just added some efori roll inside it and I put it inside my lunch bag. Give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there. So the next thing I do is that I try to take some apple cider vinegar mixture every morning. I try to do this because you guys know I'm doing intermittent fasting, right? So there are some times that I wake up and I'm so hungry, like so, so hungry. So, and I still have to drive to work. Um, most times I don't get to eat my breakfast until like 10 or 11. So this just help, helps me stay full. Um, the apple cider vinegar mixture, it just helps me stay full and it works a lot. You guys should try it. And then I just take my vitamins and my supplements. So, so I use iron supplements because I'm anemic. So I use my iron supplements. And then I take my chewable vitamin C. You guys know that they've been telling us this whole COVID period to take our vitamin Cs. And that is what I do. And those are the uh, vitamins I take in the morning. Sometimes I also take like uh, all all nature gummies um, for women but I ran out so I don't take any of I didn't take any of those in this video so the next thing I do is to just cross check Tisha's bag just to make sure that I did not forget anything because the worst thing ever is to be at work and they are calling to say Oh, you didn't pack this or you didn't pack this toy or something so I just cross check I just I'm looking at my uh, to-do list also to make sure that I have gotten everything I want to do on the list done and um, that's pretty much it so the last thing that I do is that I get Tisha dressed up like Tisha is the last person that gets to dress up before we walk out because you know children anything can happen if I dress that up before she could have made a mess or something so I get her dressed. Um, I typically don't bath her in the mornings because she already had a bath in the night. So we just wake up. I just clean her body, rub some lotion on her body, and um, I just wear her outfits for her and style her hair and call it a day. So that's basically my 6 a.m. productive and healthy morning routine. I After dropping Tisha off, I wear a dropper off and I am headed to work. On this morning, it was actually a rainy day and yeah, as you guys can see. So that is what my typical morning routine looks like when I am going to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave it in the comment section down below. Give a thumbs up for this video if you guys liked it so that I can know that what I'm doing makes sense eh? and you guys want more of these videos. Share this video with everybody that you know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.